Nikolai Korokov, Wikipedia article audio. Nikolai Sergevich Korokov 1874 March 14, 1920 was a Russian surgeon, a pioneer of 20th century vascular surgery, and the inventor of auscultatory technique for blood pressure measurement. Biography Associated Eponyms Bibliography Nikolai Korokov was born to a merchant family at 40 Milanskaya Street in Kursk on February 26, 1874. He attended the Kursk Gymnasium. He entered the medical faculty of Kharkov University in 1893 and transferred to Moscow University in 1895 where he graduated with distinction in 1898. He was appointed resident intern to Professor Alexander Bobrov at the Surgical Clinic of Moscow University. Korokov was given leave of absence to serve with the Russian military forces in the Far East during the Boxer Rebellion in China 1900. He was attached to the Red Cross in the Iversh community under Dr. Aleksinsky. The journey to the Far East entailed extensive travel by way of the Trans-Siberian Railroad, through Irkutsk to Vladivostok and he returned to Moscow via Japan, Singapore, Ceylon, and the Suez Canal to reach the Black Sea and Feodosia. Korokov was honored with the Order of St. Anna for outstandingly zealous labors in helping the sick and wounded soldiers. On his return Nikolai Korokov turned his mind from military to academic pursuits and translated Eduard Albert's monograph Die Chirurgisk Diagnostik from German to Russian. In 1903, Dr. Sergei Fedorov was appointed Professor of Surgery at the Military Medical Academy at St. Petersburg, and he invited Korokov to join him as Assistant Surgeon. During the Russo-Japanese War in 1904-1905, Korokov went to Harbin in Manchuria as senior surgeon in charge of the 2nd St. George's Unit of the Red Cross. He became interested in vascular surgery and began to collect cases for his doctoral thesis, which included 41 of 44 case reports of patients who were part of his war experience in the hospital at Harbin. Returning to St. Petersburg in April 1905 he began to prepare his thesis, but it was a presentation to the Imperial Military Medical Academy in 1905 that earned him lasting fame. The technique of blood pressure measurement was reported in less than a page of the Izvesti Imp. Voyenomdysenskoy Akademii the critical comments of Korokov's peers were dealt with in an adroit manner, and he appeared a month later at the Imperial Military Academy with animal experiments to support his theory that the sounds he had described were produced locally, rather than in the heart. He earned the approbation of Professor M. V. Yanofsky, who declared, Korokov has noticed and intelligently utilized a phenomenon which many observers have overlooked. Yanofsky and his pupils verified the accuracy of the technique and described the phases of the auscultatory sounds and for a time technique was known as the korokov yanofsky method. Nikolai Korokov, then serving as research physician to the mining district of Vitimsko-Lekminsky in Siberia, received his doctorate in 1910. After that he served as surgeon to the workers of the gold mines of Lensk. Here he witnessed Tsarist atrocities and was affected deeply by the murder of unarmed striking miners. After this Korokov returned to St. Petersburg and during the First World War he was surgeon to the Charitable House for Disabled Soldiers in Tsarsko Selo. He welcomed the October Revolution after which he was physician-in-chief of the Mechnikov Hospital in Petrograd until his death from lung tuberculosis on March 14, 1920.